friends uh, this is one of the important question of class 12 so here we have to find the area of the region bounded by the two parabolas so y is equal to x square in my previous video i have explained when it is x square is equal to y the curve will be symmetric along y axis and when it is y square just opposite it will be symmetric along x axis so x square is equal to y is this curve and uh, this curve and y square is equal to x is this curve so this is how it is uh, done then one more thing i have explained in my previous videos that uh, how do we find area bounded by these two curves uh, we have to check which curve is above and which curve is below so area uh, equation of the upper curve minus a equation of the lower curve will give us will give us the area bounded by the two curves so here the above curve is y square is equal to x so how we can write this y function in the form of x completely by put uh, transferring the square also on the right hand side so this gives us y is equal to root x this because when i take square root on both the side this two get vanish and here we get square root so area bounded is and as we know it is from 0 to 1 so integral is from 0 to 1 so here I will be uh, using this function y which is root x so root x dx minus uh, equation of this curve and this is nothing but x square so directly we can write x square and dx now it's just normal integration which will give us the solution so here I have uh, uh, distributed this in this form and now the normal integration it is x to the power 1 by 2 so the formula applied here is the general form x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 which gives us x to the power 3 by 2 into 2 by 3 because we know integral of x to the power n is x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 what it is it is integral of x to the power n dx so that for this formula we have applied over here and the same is applied over here so x cubed upon 3 now the lower limit upper limit lower limit and upper limit now uh, we will uh, put fund, uh, second fundamental theorem of calculus upper limit minus lower limit and here also the same so let's see what we get 2 by 3 and when we put upper limit in x we get 1 when we put lower limit in this we get 0 minus here also when i put upper limit i get 1 and when i get uh, put 0 we get 0 okay now let's solve it as it is 2 by 3 because only 1 is there minus 1 now the subtraction is 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so minus 1 upon 3 so this is uh, the solution but as we know area is always something positive so we will be ignoring this negative sign so 1 by 3 square unit is the area